Did you know that the Philippines is known as the Pearl of the Orient Seas for its rich biodiversity? This vibrant archipelago is an ecological wonder, teeming with a multitude of wildlife and marine life that even the most seasoned of nature enthusiasts would be in awe. Its rainforests are a riot of green, home to the world's smallest primate, the Tarsier, with its distinctively large eyes that can see clearly even in the darkest night. Soaring high above these rainforests is the majestic Philippine eagle, one of the largest and most powerful birds of prey, standing as a symbol of the country's rich biodiversity. Beneath the surface of its crystal-clear oceans, a kaleidoscope of marine life awaits. From the smallest nudie branch to the largest whale shark, the Philippines is a haven for underwater explorers. So next time you plan a biodiversity adventure, the Philippines should be on your list. The Philippines isn't just a country, it's an archipelago of over 7,000 islands. Imagine that, each island a world in itself, brimming with unique culture, traditions and languages. It's like a giant jigsaw puzzle, where every piece tells a different story. From the bustling markets of Luzon, to the tranquil beaches of Visayas, and the untouched wilderness of Mindanao, the diversity is simply mesmerizing. And let's not forget the smaller islands, which are no less enchanting. Each island has a unique persona, its own heartbeat. They dance to different rhythms, celebrate different festivals and speak different languages. Yes, languages, not dialects. The people of Cebu converse in Cebuano, those in Ilocos speak Ilocano, and the list goes on. It's like stepping into a new world every time you hop from one island to another. Yes, you heard it right. Every island is a new adventure waiting to unfold. With the Philippines, it's not about seeing it all, it's about feeling it all. Speaking of languages, did you know the Philippines has over 175 native languages? That's right, this Southeast Asian archipelago is a veritable Tower of Babel, teeming with linguistic diversity. While Filipino and English are the country's official languages, they only scratch the surface of the Philippines' linguistic landscape. Just as the country is a rich tapestry of cultures, so too is its language palette, with regional tongues such as Cebuano, Ilocano, and Hiligaynon spoken across the islands. Each of these languages, each dialect, is a unique window into the rich history and vibrant culture of the Philippines. They're a testament to the country's resilience and adaptability. From the hustle and bustle of Manila where Tagalog dominates, to the serene landscapes of Visayas where Ware Ware echoes, the Philippines is a symphony of voices, each with its own story to tell. Imagine one country, over 175 ways to say hello. If you thought Christmas was a one-day affair, think again. Christmas in the Philippines is a spectacle like no other, a nearly four-month-long celebration that turns this tropical archipelago into a festive wonderland from September all the way through January. Yes, you heard that right. The Philippines holds the record for the longest Christmas season in the world, but it's not just the duration that sets Filipino Christmas apart. It's the unique traditions that truly capture the spirit of the season. One of these is the Simbang Gabi, or Night Mass, a series of nine dawn masses leading up to Christmas Day. These masses start as early as four in the morning, and the belief goes that if you complete all nine, your wish will be granted. It's a tradition that reflects the Filipinos' deep-rooted Catholic faith and their commitment to family and community. No Filipino Christmas would be complete without the iconic parole. These are star-shaped lanterns, traditionally made of bamboo and paper, that symbolize the Star of Bethlehem. They light up homes, streets, and even entire villages, casting a warm, festive glow that's as heartwarming as the holiday itself. Then there are the carols, sung by children in every neighborhood, the festive Noche Buena feasts at the stroke of midnight on Christmas Eve, and the aguinaldo or gifts given to children by their elders during the season. Each tradition is cherished, each moment savored, because in the Philippines, Christmas isn't just about the day itself. It's about the anticipation, the preparation, the shared joy, and the sense of community that comes with the season. So, if you ever find yourself wanting to experience a Christmas that's a little bit different, a little bit longer, and a whole lot more festive, remember the Philippines. Because here, Christmas isn't just a holiday, it's a season. 
and it's a season that's celebrated with enthusiasm, warmth, and a sense of togetherness that's uniquely Filipino. In the Philippines, Christmas isn't just a holiday, it's a season. From the Christmas capital to the texting capital, the surprises never end. The Philippines, with its vibrant culture and diverse population, is not just known for its festive spirit. It has earned another unique title, the texting capital of the world. Yes, you heard right. This Southeast Asian nation, with over 100 million people, sends an average of 400 million text messages every day. That's more than the combined total of the United States and Europe. This staggering number makes the Philippines the most tech-savvy country globally, with Filipinos leading the charge in this modern, digital form of communication. But how did this happen? Well, the story starts back in the late 90s, when mobile phones started becoming a household item. With the high cost of voice calls, Filipinos found a more economical way to communicate, through text messages. And as they say, the rest is history. This phenomenon has had such a profound impact on the country that it's even influenced the local lingo, with a distinct text language developing. Known as text speak or text SPK, it's a unique blend of shortened words and phrases, making communication quicker and easier. It's a language that's truly Filipino, reflecting the nation's innovative spirit and adaptability. The texting culture has also significantly impacted the Philippines' economy. It spurred the growth of telecommunication companies, creating thousands of jobs and contributing substantially to the country's GDP. And it doesn't stop there. This text-savvy population has led to innovative solutions like mobile banking and remittances, transforming the way Filipinos manage their finances. And let's not forget the social impact. From rallying social causes to coordinating disaster relief efforts, text messaging has become an essential tool for mobilization and communication in the Philippines, proving that it's more than just a convenient way to chat. In the Philippines, the phrase, talk is cheap, has a whole new meaning. From biodiversity haven to the texting capital, the Philippines sure is full of surprises. We've journeyed through this remarkable archipelago, uncovering its hidden gems, and unearthing its unique traits. From being known as the Pearl of the Orient, with its breathtaking landscapes and vibrant biodiversity, to its staggering array of islands, each with its own unique flavor and charm. We've dived into the country's linguistic richness with a mind-boggling number of languages spoken across the archipelago. We've experienced the Philippines as the Christmas capital, where the festive season stretches on for months imbuing the air with a sense of joy and warmth. And we ventured into its world as the texting capital, where mobile communication has taken on a life of its own. If you enjoyed our trip through the Philippines and want to discover more global curiosities, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Until next time, keep exploring.